I got more. I got more. Did you see that clip of the streamer who flipped out on a viewer for saying her mom died when he asked her how she was doing? No. <laughs> the f <laughs> Honestly, that's only some shit I would do. Ironically, though. Hold on. Let me see. Wait, why do you have? Do you have it already? Just no. Nah, you weird. There's no way you just have this ready. Bro, there's no way. Okay, I got it. I did it. I did it. I'm still a dub streamer. I, I still know. I still know what I'm doing. Yeah. Ah. That we gonna do that. That's gonna be the thing. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like doing that. Okay. I don't know what bro did, but we about to find out. Oh my god. Well, tell you what, Mr. Dirty Curvy. You know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna talk about it in my chat. Cause it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Uh, thank you. Well, okay, Mr. Dirty Kirby, you said no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer <laughs> news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. No, no, no. Okay. This is funny because I actually say this to my friends when they say, like, bad shit, bad news. I, yo, and I, I, I did not get this from me. My mom made me like this. My sister went to the fucking hospital one day, and I remember she was feeling, like, horrible. She was feeling crazy. I, would, I actually I think she got in a car accident, and my mom showed up to the hospital, and she was like, yo, why did you do this on a weekday? <laughs> she said, can't you do it? Why did you wait till the weekend? <laughs> Not knowing, like, no information or, like, whether or not everything was fine or okay. Like, this is the first thing that you let out. But, like, I've had friends tell me, like, my day was so shit. My day was awful. My day was blah, blah, blah. I just got hit up by my dad just gave me this news. One of my friends came up to me and told me that their their grandmother had a misdiagnosis. And so they were happy. But then they got sad again because she was immediately diagnosed with something else. <laughs> And I was like, bro, why are you telling me? <laughs> this got nothing to do with me, bro. Like, what am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. But no, no, no. Like, it, it'll be funny in the moment. But you have to have friends that know your humor like that is all I'm saying. Like, that's honestly probably, this is genuinely how I probably respond. Um, But just to lighten the mood, not not out of seriousness, you know. Like, if I know my friend's mother died, I'm not going to I'm not going to be on this type of time, man. But if they just tell me some different shit, I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna clown them for just like a little minute for like a quick little second, like nothing too crazy. But a random chatter or something like that. If I ask y'all how y'all day is going, I, this is not gonna be my response generally. Usually, when something really really bad is going on in your life, and in a public forum, someone asks you, "Hey, what's up? How are you?" There are two acceptable response, uh, responses: good and you know what. I'll make it through. That's it. How are you know what though? I might be I might be fucked up. He he is a dickhead. He is, but like <laughs> he's not lying. <laughs> no, no, no. It it's the only fucked up part about this is the context in which he's saying it. But like generally speaking, if a if a stranger or somebody you don't know ask you how your day is. Yo, you can have the most horrible day in the entire world. You're not actually supposed to say <laughs> what what happened to you that was bad that day. I'm sorry. I know he, I know he's like, I know he's an ass over this, but like social etiquette is really like, yo, I didn't ask. Like I asked, but I I also didn't ask. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell me this. But if you do, I'm not. This not gonna be my response. Is, is all I'm saying. This not gonna be my response. If you do end up, you know, skipping over the whole shit, no, no, no. It's not about me not having empathy. Because if I didn't have empathy, I would just be on some like, yo, shut the fuck up talking to me, bro. I didn't ask you all that. That'd be that. But no, no, no. I wouldn't tell them to kill themselves. I wouldn't. I, look, I would never. I would never do that, bro. I would never do that. He asked her specifically why she was missing. To lol. Oh yeah, well then that's different. Like he's being a dickhead right now. But in general, he's not wrong on the whole like. Generally, if most people, you know, ask you how your day is, if you had the hor most horrible day in the world, you supposed to tuck that shit, my nigga, low key. I can't lie. Are you good or you know what? I'll make it through. 
Awesome. Love to hear it. Yeah. Winning. Like, nigga asked me how my day is. Winning. Getting this chicken. <laughs> and if it was if it, if it was shitty, I'll be like, hey, I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. I don't care that you just lost your pet Andy. I don't know why Andy would be the pet name for a dog. Maybe it was for a cat. Nah, you had to have a gerbil if you named it Andy. I'm sorry, bro. See, there you go. Or prom's response. I, yeah, I said, prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. I'm not trying to bum anyone out. You asked me where I was, so I said where. Damn, that's crazy. Now you made her feel fucked up. I feel like he wasn't trying to be funny, though. Like, if you say... I don't know what his type of humor is with his chat. So I feel like if I were to do this in our in, in the chat here, I feel like for the most part, you would know if I was joking or not. I don't know about this. Like I don't know if he has that type of dynamic with his chat where it's like it's mainly just jokes or you just don't take it too seriously. And the chat knows that you're not taking it too seriously. I don't know if that's what he's on. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. DeKirby. All I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to. Well, I don't agree with it on Twitch though. On Twitch, you can say whatever the fuck you want, to be honest. Like I'm talking about in person, like person, person and interaction. If it's a stranger or something like that and they say that, then yeah, you're not supposed to quote unquote trauma dump. Do it. But this is this is funny as fuck. I can't lie. Because he's serious. He dead ass. That's all I'm trying to tell you. I thought it was a joke at first. That's why I was laughing. But I didn't know he was dead ass. That's, that's it. I'm just... I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you. Heavy news like that? When someone asks, hey, where have you been? You don't need to tell them, well, my dog died. My husband left me for a younger woman. My house burnt down. And my car got stolen, so I've been a little bit busy. That's why I haven't been around. Cause it's like, oh, god, like, ugh, ugh, like you know, like if if someone asks, like, hey, what's up? Where have you been? And it's heavy. Just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on, so I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. I mean, I feel like that would give the same effect though. Like if a nigga told me that I'm gone, or I've been gone, and this is why. Uh, and they say I've been dealing with a lot of shit, but I'm getting through. I'd still feel bad. I'd still feel like shit, to be honest. <laughs> like I don't feel like if they like whether they tell me the worst shit in the world versus if they just say I'm I'm hanging in there. I still feel like hanging in there is equivalent to like yeah, you got a lot of fucked up shit going on, and it still made me feel like like terrible. So I, I don't know what he cooking right there. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Wait, what? That was it. Okay, you say you got an apology. Hold on, I want to see the apology. The apology got to be hilarious. I'm sorry. What? What? When did he like? What was? What, what was the gain of empathy? Please, if I search on YouTube for this nigga's apology, please, on God, do not. That is not his fucking name. Boma needs to be jumped. You had me thinking that his name was PK Fire or whatever the fuck. This is his name. Oh wait, let me see. Wait, where is the video? Bro, I'm not trying to see a bunch of niggas takes on the video. I just want to see the video. Is the video on Twitter? I swear to God, his name was... Yeah, Boma got to get jumped for that. It's not PK. It's literally... His name is We Found the Body. His name is We Found the Body. And the way it's going, Boma, we going to find yours. With this fuck ass energy you get. Shout out to all my gay niggas. Well, it's just gonna be shout out to gay niggas then, cause like I'm not moving my button to go lower to get somewhere else, bro. I'm sorry. Wait, why y'all putting question marks? Did I say something wrong? From his stream, the very day his apology dropped, he doesn't. Wait, hold on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pause that, cause that looked like it's funny as fuck. Where is the? F Wait, what? That's also some shit I'd do. Bro, where's the video? Wait, what? What happened? Boma, get behind me. Okay, I'm going right through you. <laughs> you think you strong? You think you can stop me? You can't. That sounds crazy out of context. What I mean is, like, you can't prevent 
the punishment that Bowman's about to receive in this instance as it pertains to um, her not having the proper information for me. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Thank you, Dank, for actually doing something with your life. Look at these niggas. This nigga gave me a link to a video. Oh my god, I found it. Yay. All right. Let's look at this fucker. Y'all like that? Y'all like how I said that? I could have been a little bit cleaner on me. On it, to be honest. Going through you is nuts? I don't think so. I don't think we I don't think we go through niggas enough, to be honest. I think the more we go through niggas, the more we going, you know what I'm saying? Cuz you can't get around going through, you know what I mean? We don't say that enough, going through, I'm going to go through you. You can't stop me. What am I implying? Nothing. I literally said I'm going to beat the shit out you if you get in the way of Boma's beating. I collectively said, chat, we going to jump the shit out of her. That's what I said. You got in the way on some white knight shit, and, and now you're going to catch it too. You can't stop it. Who's calling me right now? Holy shit. Oh, I really want to answer that. Never mind. We supposed to be jumping you. How? You said you're going to beat a nigga. No, bro. All right. You you just heard something crazy. I got people who got my back and they gone. I'm telling you, bro, when niggas pull up with them dicks, <laughs> it's a totally different story. It's a totally different situation. All them, all them niggas that got your back, they gone. Soon as soon as soon as watched bro, this on. Drake documentary last night and it confirmed with me that he is in fact the greatest of all time or at least he will be when it's all said and done elijah you about to get blocked never come in here with that positivity ever in your life again i never want to hear it again literally die you not scared of me that's the problem with niggas bro you don't need to be scared of a nigga for him to do you that be the problem with niggas bro Niggas be upset, like, bro, I, like, oh, my God, like, I ain't afraid, I ain't this, I ain't that, bam! Niggas asking questions, yo, what happened to him? Somebody boomed him. Who boomed him? The nigga he said he wasn't afraid of. You ain't got to be afraid of the nigga. You got to be afraid of what a nigga could do to you. Facts. Factory. You ain't got to be on no other type of time. Why? We got to stop this other narrative of 135, bro. I'm literally 159 currently, and that's off no workout. Third shampoo ad in a row. Hey, truly believe I won't do. Oh, man. It's crazy, bro, because I just like, yo, like, niggas really just, they just, niggas don't talk to me like this, bro. They don't. Like, niggas, 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 like, in the in the in the in the per that's not lying, bro. Stop, stop. In in a person, bro, like niggas are not niggas move out of the way when I walk down places, bro. Like niggas step to the side, bro. Like I don't I don't swipe shoulders with nobody. When I'm coming through, niggas just know like we gotta get out the way. Like that's just what it is, bro. Stop. Protect Balmu at all cost. Okay, he gonna get y'all niggas hurt, bro. He gonna get y'all niggas hurt. That's all I'm saying. It's over for Sean if it's windy outside. Listen, bro. It was over for y'all moms. You know what I'm saying? You know mom jokes will never get old, bro. Like, it, it seemed like it will. It's just like the, 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 the dumbest, most laziest thing to say, but it'll just never mob get old, face. Bro. Mob, for right now. I'm in my mob mode. Bro, confusing confidence with delusion. No, I'm just I'm just confirming my reality. I'm just confirming my reality. If a 7-5 buff nigga in jail wanted your butt, what you doing? Killing myself? I'm not like you niggas, bro. I'm not like you. I'm not going out, bitch. I'm not going out, bitch, bro. It's a lot of situations that you can get out of if you really just like, hey, yo, let me really assess the situation right now. There's only a couple options. Hey, yo. Clip, clip Boma right now. She says suicide is going out, bitch. Clip Boma. That's what she said. That's what she endorses. So if you commit sui if you commit the seppuku, Boma's basically saying you bitch. I ain't say it, Clipper. I, 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 I never would have said nothing like that. That's crazy. I never would have said nothing like that. That's crazy. I know. Like just no, 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 no. Not, not she saying. Not she trying to add context. No, she said if the su she said if the su is on the side, you bitch. I don't know, brother. I don't know. 
Be honest with yourself. That's not the one I meant to click, but that's kind of crazy. It's a different admission. Wow. 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 No, nah, now she adding context. Wow. See? That's what I be saying. That's what I be saying. Niggas don't be paying attention, but I do. I'm always on my P's and Q's every fucking time. Now, let's listen to this nigga. Almost said something crazy because of who he looked like when I flash forward like this. I almost said something the same, but I'm not going to um, I'm not gonna harp on it. I'm not going to harp on it. These ass will be the reason Sean gets slid on. Hey, bro, it's not my fault you ain't subbed. It's not like a personal problem. Good morning. I have something that I prepared, something that I've written down <clears> that I'd <throat> like to share with you guys. Uh, and it's right here on my screen. So if I'm, you know, glancing from the, the camera down to the screen from time to time, it's just because I'm following along with what I've We written. found the body is a crazy name. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is John. You're talking like this and your name John? Disgusting piece of shit, as some of you prefer to call me on Twitter. Nigga, you are named after a biblical character. You are acting unhinged. Sure, it's fine. It's, it's cool. Uh, on Twitch, my handle is we found the body. I decided to make a video to address this whole situation regarding my reaction to someone's grief comments in my chat uh, that have gained traction on on Twitter, which is you know why we're here, is why we're doing this. Uh, there's a few things that I'd like to make clear about the matter at hand. Firstly, it is well known in my channel that I do not tolerate heavy news, drama, or trauma uh, dumping, if you will, being entered. <laughs> he really unironically still said trauma dumping. Or dropped into the chat. This has been. Nigga asked how you were. <laughs> And he said, why are you trauma dumping? Been discussed and explained and made clear many times while I've been live over the last four plus years that I've been on Twitch. I also have a rather lengthy text command. Ain't this the guy who got like mad because my chat someone said they mama dead? Yeah, we, 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 we watching his apology. He's basically doubling down and saying that since he doesn't deal with heavy news well, everybody's supposed to walk on eggshells if they had a bad day around him, even if he asks how they were. Lengthy text command that appears frequently and explains this in my chat in words, uh, maybe for anyone that, that doesn't have I volume hope he's on mama or maybe is hearing impaired. <laughs> um, regulars know this information well. The people that come to my channel often, he's not they know this. The they see it all chat. the time. Um... So that's something that I want to make sure everyone understands. Uh, secondly, I hope his mama died. the clip what? that this individual has provided was edited and chopped up to cut out a lot of the context and dialogue required, I feel. Nigga, that was unedited. That was a full clip of you going crazy. What? To fairly assess the matter as it truly... That was two minutes of no cuts from what I saw. Folded. Uh, you've seen the edit, but what it doesn't show is that twice... I didn't acknowledge her comments about the deceased family member on purpose. I read them to myself, but didn't react in depth in an attempt to simply avoid having the stream temporarily hijacked. Uh, hijacked? By this type of heavy, you hear the serious Zach Fox CP got me feeling like an unk. I haven't. Uh, I, I, I'll probably listen to a couple songs. I probably will. Hijacked is crazy because all you got to say is r.i.p or i'm sorry you're going through that and move on why are you harping on it your mom didn't die you literally could just be like oh i'm sorry to hear that hope you have a good time in the stream tonight hope we could take your mind off of it i don't know what else you could say you'd have to say nothing you literally could have ignored it though i'm not commenting it wasn't until the third time that she brought it up in chat and expressed <laughs> just be like him sorry for your lost that i reacted to it the way that i did <laughs> One very important detail that I think I should share is that this individual has been spoken to about has been spoken to about this. Oh my god! Uh, before, bro, this is not the first time that she's violated the expectation <laughs> that people not share heavy news in my channel. Previously, she shared uh, in my chat very personal bro. detailed, potentially triggering uh, comments regarding triggering the toxic nigga she, what. How you go, how, what, you gotta put a trigger warning before, like, because someone dies? Like, that happens on a regular basis. Oh, trigger warning, death. Like, what? He the kind of guy to say the word and then complain about cancel culture. I think this is far deeper. Like, I think I would, I would have way more respect if it was just the N word. 
Where was this guy on January 6th, 2021? I don't think he's like that for real. I genuinely think he's just a, a disturbed human being in this context. Like when I'm looking at him right now, I don't get racist vibes. His hat doesn't doesn't spell racist to me. And he's got tattoos on his forearms on both of them. I just don't feel it. I don't feel the strong niggotry at work here. He was involved in, and this was approximately a year and some months ago. Maybe uh, it's his at that tone. time, I did in fact let her know that I don't appreciate or entertain that type of commenting in my channel. Her and I uh, met in Discord. We spoke privately and discussed her relationship situation as friendly acquaintances. That's even worse. That's even worse. That means you've talked to her on a regular basis, gotten a little bit more of a deeper uh, uh, understanding of what she be saying, and then you still was like, yo, I'm about to fire this bitch up on this grill right now. Like, her ass is done. And she expressed to me that she understood why I don't like that sort of thing being entered into my chat. We had an understanding. That's the crazy. frustration you witnessed in that edited clip that she provided is a result of this expectation Bro not doesn't being understood as I believed it was. The frustration from having her argue in chat that she was, quote, just answering my question, even though Straight she's to been spoken to about percent. this type of thing before, and she knows... Bro, this is an apology? ...was full well. You know, she was a streamer for a time uh, that no, this type of thing really is most just certainly frowned upon. Behavior. You're missing the mark a bit. Oh, okay, my Dude, bad. Dude, follows right now. From Joe JCKS, bro, Chacho, welcome to the channel. Wait, this isn't even a side video that he decided to make, or is he just a streamer with no YouTube channel? Like, you couldn't just make this on the side and just like I don't know, post it to Twitter yourself without the chat. You're doing this while you're streaming. Dude, thanks for the follow. Yeah, maybe we should just uh, you know what? Fuck it, we're not gonna cut this out. Let's let's one and done. I like to say one. And Jesus done. Christ. Um. Hey, yo, I respect it, though. I do. I respect it. Because, honestly, it could be, like, the tearful cry, you know, back to YouTube uh, with the title, like, oh, he don't even give a fuck. Something for Twitter. I respect it. He's still getting a thousand lashes, though. Where was I? 50 uh, million lashes on your dead moms. Oh, 50 yes. Million. Thirdly, oh, my crazy. third point. Yes, I'm still counting the points. Okay. Firstly, secondly, thirdly. Let me hear it. Uh, and this is where a lot of you are going to fucking hate me more than you already do. Okay, let me hear it. It's not my job to take on people's grief or drama while I'm live. Niggas say it. Yo mom dying is drama. <laughs> Big or small. Bro. Seemingly harmless or not. Bro, I hope his mama dies. It's, it's I hope his job. daddy die. I hope his dog die. I hope his auntie die. I hope his unk die. I hope his grandmama die. I hope his grandfather die. Bro, what the fuck? What is he saying? Like, you know if his whole family die. Bro, if his fucking dog dies. Like if he has an inconvenience while streaming, bro, he's going to come to his Twitch chat and be like, guys, I know you don't come into the ch into the chat for this, but I got to tell you, Twitch isn't paying Seemingly me. Seemingly homeless is a crazy thing to accuse someone That's of. That's crazy. The Twitch isn't paying me, and I need you guys to crowdfund. We got to get behind the Patreons. We got to go on ahead. We got to get the donos up. It's like, bro. I know you, I know out of your whole Twitch career you've said something that was heavy and the chat just had to sit there awkwardly and not comment jokes like they really want to clown you for your fuck ass beard in this in this hairline issue you probably got up underneath this hat like you made them sit through that bro you tortured them with your trauma dumping you know you did I don't know if there's a clip available of it but I know you did it before seeing him ball would be crazy Seeing him ball would be crazy. Because I don't, I can't handle I'm that type of I'm trying to see a Sean C apology video. I know that I'm for folding on the camera and we ain't believing none of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know that. Wait, I what? hope his landlord kick him out cause I know he ain't own that house. Bro, y'all are adding a whole bunch of allegations off of nothing other than speculation and prejudice, okay? Let's calm down and see what type of, type of shit, what type of time he cooking. 
as 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 our good man destiny would say there are a legion of streamers that are basically just like this they are unhinged in various different ways and they start to become popular over time but i do believe there is a legion of them and he's a part of said legion it is my job however unfortunately to have to repeatedly explain to specific individuals that they violated the channel rules and chat expectations to not share heavy energy changing news or energy drama changing. in the chat. Now I understand that I was somewhat harsh and crass and somewhat. insensitive to this woman. I'm I'm sorry for that. I have apologized. I'm still sorry for it. Why didn't um, you just start with that? I'm sorry for hurting her feelings and for being, you know, cunty about it. But I'm not sorry for reminding her and others in the community to leave your baggage at the door when you enter Holy someone's chat. Holy shit. I should have just He's uh, still going. skipped over her comments and moved on, but I didn't. And people make mistakes, and that happens to be uh, one of the mistakes that I've made. That's so funny. I think it's important to mention, uh, for those of you that don't know me at all, which is damn near all of you, yeah. that I'm very upfront with people. I understand that my personality, my demeanor, oh my, my choice of words isn't for everyone. Only thing I, I hope he cooks his mama in the pre And I'm okay with that. I don't pander. I don't pussyfoot around something that bothers me or needs to be said. NGL kind of found up the vibes with your dead mom, bro. That's No that's matter crazy. the situation, clearly. And for those of you on Twitter. I hate when people say this too, though, bro. Like. Oh, I'm just a blunt person. I'm just blunt. You know, I think I have the perfect combination of my parents in me. I know that sounds kind of weird out of context, but my mom is hyper emotional and my dad isn't emotional at all. Like at all. He it's like you 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 take this man, bro, walking around, he ha he is like a he's like a rock. He's a fucking rock. And my mother is just like the most flamboyantly emotional, vibrant individual ever. These two coming together has formed the most centrist personality person ever. I am the I'm super blunt, but also super empathetic. I don't think my sensitivity comes uh, for me, though, to be fair. I think my sensitivity comes in response to others. I can get real sensitive for other people, but just really not for myself like that. But. I get what he's saying, but he just don't. You need, you need a, you, you just peanut butter and you need some jam. That's that's what it's giving right now. You mid, okay, bro. If that's if that's what you say, low bro. That uh, want to crucify me, you know, you want to chop me up and roast me. Have at it. Type until your fingers are sore. As it is my right to decide what's okay in my chat. I don't and care my channel, about trauma dumping. It is your right. For you to decide how you'd like to roast me on Twitter. You cried on stream like four times, we know. First of all, I've only cried on stream twice, okay? The other two times were literally me crying from laughter, okay? So that's first off. Second off, don't ever try to bring up past transgressions and past trauma up to use against me when I was transparent with niggas, okay? I don't know what the fuck you want. What are you talking about? So you're composed but in touch. What does that mean? Who's touching me? No one's touching me. Now you making fun of me for crying. See, this is why niggas turn into incels. Twitter. I haven't commented, replied, liked, shared, or retweeted any of it at this point. And I'll be keeping it that way. But I do read some of it. Like, some, like not much, but some of it. Nah, you read it all. And it's okay. You know, you're going to go through that little phase, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how old he is. He probably shouldn't be reading it. I wonder it when the last honest. time he got some was. Um, a beer like this, you know, you you know somebody at the at the at the bar at the bar, most likely. It's like a he probably knows like the uh the what do you call those people the fucking uh the servers at the bar, at the at the restaurant and shit like that. He probably knows somebody that he's been like on and off with for like a few years. She not really doing right with her boyfriend or whatever. I mean, servers, bartender, waitress, the whole staff at the restaurant. He has a restaurant near his house. He goes there like once a week. Talks to everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. That's the type of time that he's giving me. He seems like one of those. I don't know why. He just 
He gives me pizza restaurant. He gives me previous pizza restaurant manager vibes. That's what he's giving me. Why do I have to stop it? And I'll be taking your views into consideration, probably with popcorn in the distance. Why are y'all writing it? All right, bro. Scored with a few homies, if I'm being completely honest. I'd like to end this little rant by saying Twitch is an amazing place. I fucking love streaming and the incredible community that I'm a part of. I have met some of the most significant people in my life on Twitch. So I value and appreciate it. Like what it offers us all. It's not lost on me. It's you, sir, are it's one lost. Of the most important things in my life. No, you are lost, sir. A lot of you don't really know who I am, um, but now you know a little bit. I'm jagged. I'm flawed. I'm obnoxious. I make shitty jokes, and I'm a fucking asshole. I don't try to hide that. I never have. But at least you know what you're getting from me. Okay, that's called consistency. <laughs> Nigga said, I refuse to grow. Consistently a fucking asshole. Isn't that like uh, what they teach you in like YouTube streamer school? How no. to be a streamer 101. Consistency. Well, I've got that in spades. Uh, Twitter, it's been swell, but I got to go. Uh, if any of you would like to check out the channel, that would be fucking tits. How old is he again? He said fucking tits. This was literally nothing. This has about as much substance as a modern Eminem album. True. Chat mm. who winning in a fight we found the body or Sean C. Oh, I'm destroying this nigga, bro. I'm sorry. It's, it's easy. But. I mean, on, on real shit, though. On real shit. On real shit. No, he got the he got he giving me like the five seven frame. He giving me like the five seven frame. To be fair, but regardless, praying for his downfall got on my knees and everything. You were on your knees before he even popped up on a video. I don't know why you blame bl blaming him for real. Like you you enjoy being down there, and that's your prerogative, bro. Like that's what you be doing, and we accept and love you as we do all people that come through the chat. But like, don't try to blame him for your shit. Like, bro, you've been doing that for years, bro. It is what it is, bro. That would be. Fuck Sean, not, you not, five apostrophe five, stop capping. You know the last person who was on that type of time, and it was like, oh, I thought you'd be shorter. I dwarfed them. I bet he wears affliction shirts, drinks monsters, and listens to Eminem and Hopsin. I don't think he's the type to listen to rap. He was listening to rock music or some type of metal when the, you the first attempt clip. You're gonna twelve minutes again. You're gonna no, no. I beat the game already. What the fuck? <laughs> 